Hey guys, what's up? This is Jordan Crook with TechCrunch, and I'm here with Phil Dumas, who is the CEO and founder of Unikey. Yes, I'm uh, happy to be here. Thanks yeah, for having me. Absolutely. So you guys have news. You have things going on. First, tell us what Unikey and all of this is about. Unikey is the evolution of the key. So we've created a product and technology that if you hate carrying keys, if you hate fumbling through and picking out which key it is, we've really solved the problem of accessing your home on the day-to-day -day basis. We're not the first company to unlock a door with a phone. We're the first company to do it in a more convenient way than a traditional key. Right. So uh, simple uh, touch to open technology, you just touch your door as long as your phone's in your pocket or purse, you just walk right in. Awesome. So how, I mean, so there's an app obviously that yeah, goes so with this and then how, what is the hardware, all of that? Let's, let's talk about that for a minute. What does yeah. it take to get this set up in my world? So uh, all it is is you download a mobile app and we, you tap to enroll your phone. It's very simple to set up and as long as you have your phone on you, the app can run in the background. You simply walk up, you touch the door anywhere on the outside ring. And uh, it will, at that point, it locked. And uh, you can just touch it again, and the door will unlock in a matter of only a few seconds. It's, it's that simple. What about getting this particular hardware? How, what, is, what, is <laughs> what is installation like and all yeah, that stuff? Yeah, so it, it's important to have a complete solution. Um, it's two bolts out for your old lock, and two bolts and a few screws in for the new lock. And uh, it's important to have a whole complete solution. We have a, a tapered deadbolt here, so you know it's an electromechanical lock. It's driving. You don't want the bolt to get jammed. So, jam, so having a tapered deadbolt is very important. Definitely. And having something on both sides, we actually have an antenna on this side and circuitry behind here that has an antenna. We can actually tell which side of the door your phone's on. So it's very important. Um, to know that you don't want to walk up from the inside and have your door unlocked. All so right. uh, we've, we've really uh, not only just asked a lot of questions uh, that other people haven't uh, asked yet, but we've answered them and we've really made this uh, what we believe to be a mass market uh, solution to evolve the door lock and the key. So what's the price for the whole thing? Uh, right now it's 219 so we're happy to announce that we're currently in pre-order and it's, uh, it's a traditional pre-order. We're not doing a crowdfunding launch or anything. Uh, we're, we'll be shipping the product here in about the next 30 days, and we're pre-ordering through Amazon, uh, Newegg, Home Depot, and Build.com. So awesome. uh, please sign up right now. Uh, there, we're, please buy my product. <laughs> please buy my product. Do it. Uh, no, it's great, though, uh, and uh, you know, to be able to get one of the first ones, uh, you know, we have a lot of excited users. Awesome, that's so cool. Um, let's talk about competition a little bit. I know there's a lot of people kind of sprouting up in the industry with different yeah. solutions and different takes on the whole thing. Lockatron is one that comes to mind. I mean, how, how are you guys different from, from who you're competing with? Well, it's kind of interesting. I mean, we look at it as a good thing. Um, and uh, if anybody knows and been following the industry for a while, it's, it's definitely up and coming. We were actually the first company to show a hands-free solution. So we were actually on Shark Tank uh, May of last year, and we showed our product. It was great to be on Shark Tank and and get the exposure, especially in the investment community, which I think we'll get to in a minute. But um, the downside of going on national television is we kind of tipped our hat and, and showed the competition what we were working on. So a few companies popped up and and started to say, "Oh yeah, that is a better way to get into your home." You know, not just locking and unlocking your door actively from your phone, but doing it passively and hands-free. Uh, a method is much easier th than a key. So some people have popped up and, and we think it's good. Our biggest concern is are they really doing it the right way? What's interesting is our, our core technology has been developed and uh, we're, we're not looking to just stay in the residential lock market. So we're looking to go into hotels, automotive, uh, safes, we're even looking at uh, airplane access control. So we really want to take every key that you have and, and get rid of it. So That's awesome. Um, that, that's, which market we go into is going to dictate do we need additional capital to, to do it. I mean, some are extremely R&D intensive, uh, especially automotive. You know, this telling what side of the door you're on is one thing. Uh, the car, you have to be extremely accurate and also taking a third dimension of up and down. Right. Uh, you know, uh, so there, there's a lot that goes into that. Plus, cars are metal, and there's uh, and then there's also the whole thing with like you know, my mom can't lock her keys in her car mm -hmm. because that's of the whole all point. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Like, how so do you it's that get same around logic? That? And you know, I don't know if you know the cars. They they have the hands-free stuff mm -hmm. uh, right now. This is kind of we we wanted to create a similar experience um, a, a, as the automotive market, although the technology is fundamentally different. Right. Uh, it was nice to really not have to train the users on a new way to interact with something because touching the lock is 
just as simple as grabbing the door handle in the car. So people kind of like, oh, why, why don't they have this for my home? Well, now we do, even though it's fundamentally different technology. Right. So, so like, when it comes to you know the whole industry, you don't want to. I know you want to get into other kinds of locks and other kinds of you know locks. I don't know how, how yeah, else to say control. it. Access yeah. control. Access control. But what about like other parts of like home automation? Because it seems like there's a very strong tie in there. Yeah. And you guys are doing such a great job with this. <laughs> I just wonder if there's any other. Maybe well, down the road. Home automation is interesting. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Are, are, are we getting this? Yeah. Okay. We should so, be. <laughs> okay. Better be. Now, home, auto, home automation is pretty interesting because um, I, I think just recently, even though it's been up and coming for like the past two decades, I think just recently there's real home automation products. And, and, and what I mean by that is home automation versus home control. Right. So before everything was home control and they called it home automation. Uh, turning on and off your lights from your phone and doing all this other stuff and managing power. But I think companies like Nest, a learning thermostat, I think that's true home automation. And I think companies uh, like uh, Unikey doing Kibo, touching your door and have an automated authentication process and security process and automated unlocking the door. I think the true home automation revolution is just now starting. Right. And home control is a second thing. So when you say, are we getting into home automation? Um, yeah, we're doing it with our door lock, and we do plan on potentially getting into other automated features of the home, but maybe partnering with home control companies to trigger events. So when I unlock my door, my alarm XYZ disarms, happens. And the lights go on, whatever, the music starts playing, it depends. So, <laughs> nice. Um, you know, so there are interactions with home control systems on the radar, but security is, is very, very important to us. So. I don't, uh, I, I don't see us uh, integrating with them uh, on an open level, uh, but certainly strategically.